Welcome to Atlas. In this screencast, you'll learn how to create a new project in the Atlas system. First, sign into the Atlas system by entering your username and password. When you first log into the Atlas system, on the left-hand column, you will see a list of projects under your user account in the Atlas system. To create a new project, click the New Project button in the right column. When you create a new project in the Atlas system, you first choose an owner for your project. An owner is either your specific user account or a group to which you belong. The option you choose controls who will initially be set up with access to the project. If you choose your user account as the owner, as shown here, only you will have access. If instead, you choose a group as the owner, you and all other members of the group will have access. Here, O'Reilly Media has been chosen as a group for the project, and all members of the O'Reilly Media group will have access to the project. To see a list of the members of any given group, click the Settings icon in the top menu bar. Then click the Groups tab. Then click the name of the group, and you'll see a list of the users who have access to all projects within that group. We'll discuss adding collaborators in more depth in another screencast. After choosing an owner, enter a title for your project. Then enter a description of the project. Finally, you'll choose a template for your project. The template provides a series of boilerplate files you can use to get up and running quickly. For example, if you choose the book template, as selected here, when Atlas creates the project, it will pre-populate it with boilerplate files for a chapter, a preface, table of contents, and all the other main ingredients you'll need to make a full book. To create the project, click the Create Project button. When your project is created, you'll see a splash screen that says, Welcome to your project. In the left-hand column, you'll see a list of files that are in your project. As you can see, the project is pre-populated with a title page, copyright, table of contents, preface, chapter, and appendix, as well as some getting started instructions for quick reference. These files help you get up and running quickly. For example, as you go to write your first chapter, simply click on the chapter file, and the chapter heading is right there for you to edit. If you'd prefer to create a new project with the bare essentials rather than a full set of boilerplate files, when you create a new project, follow the same process as before to enter owner, title, and description. Then instead of clicking the book option, click Basic or Bare. Basic will provide bare bones templates that include the absolute minimum to get started, whereas Bare will provide a completely empty repo. Once you've selected your new option, click Create Project again. This time you'll notice that there is simply just a chapter file, as well as the atlas.json file, which provides configuration information, which we'll discuss in another screencast. In the next screencast, we'll discuss the Atlas Visual Editor and go over all the features it provides for authoring and editing content in the Atlas system.